Fletcher Tabato. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair, for this opportunity uh, to speak. Uh, to the House today. Uh, I'd like to commend uh, the Minister for speaking up earlier to defend uh, her, the National Government's opening uh, speech. It was unfortunately a reflection of this Government's inadequate uh, thinking and arrogance as to the economy. It was, uh, the, the opening speech was an attack and a uh, focus back in the past that was inaccurate and inappropriate for this debate, sir. Um, I wanted to address a couple of statements from uh, the Minister himself, if I could. The Minister spoke of the breadth of the base of growth in New Zealand. And he, and he justified that by saying, well, actually, we're still growing despite the fall in uh, milk solid prices in New Zealand. But the Minister will be the first to admit that those falls in milk solid prices actually haven't transferred to the farm gates yet. The farmers themselves are not getting those lower payouts yet. The auction prices are not yet reflected in our farmers' pockets, sir. To say otherwise is deceptive, and in only six months to a year's time, we will see the fallout of those decreases in international market prices, and this government is in denial already and obviously has no plan to move forward. The Minister spoke about this wonderful uh, trade-weighted index average. How, what a wonderful uh, statistic that is to use to highlight how wonderful the New Zealand economy is. Sir, so, <laughs> our unrealistically high exchange rate has come about because of our unrealistically high interest rates that the, uh, the New Zealand banks are having to run at the behoove of this New Zealand government. Sir, so we are talking about interest rates uh, compared to the rest of the world that actually you can't compare to the rest of the world because uh, in, in some of the European uh, economies, for example, they are literally paying a negative interest rate to borrow money. Yes, sir, that literally means they will borrow $100 and be paid back $110 in the future. That is what our New Zealand businesses are having to compete against. And the fact that the Minister is claiming our trade weighted index as a uh, wonderful measure of how this economy is performing is either deceptive or, um, oh, or naive, sir. It is wrong. It is, it is our exchange rate, it is our interest rates that are doing that. And what it's also doing, actually, is punishing New Zealanders. It's actually punishing New Zealand exporters. That high exchange rate is making it incredibly hard for our exporters to compete on the international market. So picture a large multinational in uh, China, in the US, where money is so cheap, and they're borrowing that money. But back here in New Zealand, our businesses are borrowing at six, seven, eight, nine percent. There's no competition there. We will be dominated, and in fact, the fact that we're opening up our markets uh, through government procurement, for example, um, to these kind of businesses with access to these kind, this kind of money of is an unfortunate um, uh, state of affairs that will see most New Zealand businesses not able to even compete and to provide core services for the New Zealand government or local council. Uh, so the minister also spoke about how uh, the managers, the governments from the past, and can I suggest that the government stop using the governments for, of the past as an excuse for things not happening now. He talked about uh, a cut, cutting everything. Actually, what this national government is doing is exactly that. The government is now looking, uh, from the reports we've received, to cut back um, expenditure of, um, to contain it within 30% of GDP, almost as much as 5% lower than it, what, it, what it has been in the past. It is a blatant attempt to cut back expenditure. And on the other hand, they say they want to decrease uh, the tax take. It, it just doesn't make any sense at the moment, and I think um, most members in this House, including those on the other side, would agree that trickle-down economics uh, doesn't work and we need a smarter and more focused plan. I had the privilege of travelling to Ireland and uh, Poland um, over the break, the Mr Chair, and uh, what we saw there was uh, those two respective governments 
uh, investing literally billions of euros into their agricultural markets. So, uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. Jamie Lee Ross. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm, I'm pleased to go after Fitch uh, Tabato. He's actually a very good member.